Now, we saw N squared algorithm, how bad it can really perform when N is going bigger and bigger here. We are forced to think of better algorithms than N squared here. So let's go into the idea number one to see is there any inefficiency we can able to discover it up which can lead to the better solutions here. If you look at the idea one, we take the element one, we are comparing with what they call all followed elements now. That scan, that is where that comparison become very, very large and giving N square. When out this kind of a linear search you are doing it up, one of the key ideas we can always bring it up is sort. If I sort the array, does it really offer uh, you know any betterness? If really observe it up, when I sort the array here, wherever the duplicate is available, they come they come up adjacent, uh, you know, they all comes up in a in a sequence now. When they come up a sequence, one scan through the array will exactly give us up with adjacent element comparison, what could be the duplicate? That's why. Let's adapt the sorting strategy here. Then we do, you know, adjacent checks uh, instead of doing up all these checks now, which we are doing in a solution one, might offer a betterness. But let's look at the idea first, then we analyze it up to see is it better than this or not. Let me write this as solution number two. Let me take the input again here. One, four, six, seven, eight, three, two, five, five. Let me sort this here. You get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now here, you got to find a duplicate. Now, I just compare adjacent elements now. I compare 1 with 2, it's not there. 2 with 3, not there. 3 with 4, no. Again, no. 5, 5. We got a match, written 5 as duplicate. That means sorting definitely really makes our life comfortable. But you got to spend that extra time also here. So this is what we call idea number 2. Since sorting is one of the, uh, you know, part of this total algorithm here and, and after sorting we are doing some specific work based on uh, what they call problem. So this, I don't call this pattern, instead I call it as a strategy called ad hoc. So here, the strategy is sort followed by scan. That's why let me label this as a sort plus scan strategy. And it is specific to the problem. It may not be a more generalizable thing here. Hence I'm using a name called ad hoc. Now, so this is what uh, solution now. How do we know that? Is it better th than previous one? We saw from previous videos, whenever you want to know when algorithm is good or bad, the only thing we need to do here is analyze. The dimensions, two dimensions, if you analyze, we can easily compare those, di those metrics now. We can conclude which is better. Let me do that. Without writing code, let me do theoretical analysis. What is time complexity? What is space complexity? Again, the, the core operation, low level operation and core operation. Here, first we are doing sorting in Asia. How much uh, time any sorting algorithm, best sorting algorithms available uh, for us will take it up. Till now, we haven't seen sorting problem. Later, we are going to discuss it up. Until that, we assume that as a black box, that will be, that will be a n log n shape. So sorting algorithm, the best sorting algorithm, we are going to see later videos now. We'll take n log n comparisons here. Plus black box because still we don't, we haven't discussed. But after sorting, what else we are doing here? On scan we are doing here, we are comparing adjacent elements now. How many components required in the worst case? Always worst case is guaranteed performance. That's where. So this guy we are comparing, this guy we are comparing, this guy. Except first element, we are doing what they call Except the last element, we are doing what they call one, one comparison per element here. That means maximum we require n minus 1. Again, unit is the low level operation is CMP here. Comparison. Overall, the notation we know from again previous videos, how do we really express this? So definitely big O of n log n here. And here we can also write this as the theta. Now space complexity, to express this idea, sorting we can do without any extra space. Again, we'll see later videos, this idea of space complexity. Now, for doing this so-called adjacent checks now, we need just one uh, scan through that, maybe adjacent element with so constant variables, we can do that. That's why we write it as C units now. That's where we call this as big of one. That's why solution two, time complexity is state of n log n, space is big of one. Now let's compare solution one and two n multiplied by n versus n multiplied by log n. So log n is a so small number for bigger and bigger values here. So in theory we can able to, uh, now we can say, we can conclude now that n log n algorithm definitely better than n square algorithm here. 
space wise there again both are constant uh, units of space here so that's why n log n is definitely good but how much good it is only when you really experience this n log n we get a more crystal clear clarity on so is n log n algorithm is acceptable for practical you know sizes of n uh, practical sizes n when it goes to millions hundreds of millions now will it be a scalable solution or not let's move on to the coding to experience n log n algorithm now we have seen n log n solution here theoretically we are claiming that log n is far far smaller compared to n so let's see the practice how good the n log n algorithms actually perform so let me let me create copy this prototype of a duplicate so find duplicate to now what is the first step in our solution number 2 is first let's sort the array here so let me import an algorithm header file include so algorithm here so here i just invoke a method called sort in and also in plus n starting and end address i'm passing it up now our array gets sorted now we need a scan so for i starts from you can start from 0 or 1 forward or descend or backward or descend check is your wish i'm starting from 1 i less than n here so plus plus i now we'll compare if n of i is equal to n of i minus 1 then we return the duplicate n of i if no where it's available then we return a special value call int underscore min so this is what a solution number 2 let's see the correctness of what do you call this al this solution in a way i just change up find duplicate 1 to find duplicate 2 let me build the project in a vision now let me run as a local ccp application so 10 elements let me see 9 so we know this expect the output let me rerun this run as local ccp application 100 elements now 99 so it's working correctly here let's look at scale of this solution in a way here so let's run as local ccp application 100 1000 10000 1 lakh this this seems to painful for solution 1 now you can see it's nothing now let me go for bigger size run as local ccp application 100 1000 10000 1 lakh now 10 lakh million for 1 million how much time this will take it up i'm giving 0 seconds let me write this Maybe I'm thinking that uh, sorting method, which we have used out here, sometimes sort algorithms might might take very less time if the input is already in ascending order. Maybe my test case one, which I have given it up, might not be acting as a worst case uh, input for algorithm two or solution number two. Let me slightly change my test data so that we can exactly get clarity whether sort actually were actually utilizing the sorting time or not. Let me rewrite this test case. test case to now in stuff filling in ascending order will give up n minus 1 minus i so this gives us since so zeroth slot we are keeping up n minus 1 first slot n minus 2 we are keeping descending order last element we keep n minus 1 it's not an ordered array here i'm sure sorting algorithm has to spend time on it so i'm trying to take sorting also as much time as possible by creating a test case and evision so let's try with this test case how well the solution to actually performs it out so test case 2 now first build the project here now let's run as local ccp application first we see 100 again here fine so working now go to the big size now 100 1000 10000 lakh now 10 lakhs a million million how much time this takes to so so th that means the algorithm is really doing very very fast now 10 lakhs let me increase more increase the size of this so 100 1000 10000 lakh a million 10 lakhs million 10 million 
10 million how much time this guy will take it up now you can see visible lapse let's see so it's taking almost here how much here five seconds animation let me write this find duplicate two so for 10 million so let me write one million how much time so 10 million we try to see and also 100 million we also see how much time this solution to actually takes it out let me take this and run as local ccp application let me give up 100 1000 10000 10000 here 1 lakh 1 million now let me see 10 million share. so for 10 million size it's taking 5 seconds let me note down this 5 seconds now let me rerun this on 100 million so 100 thousand 10 thousand lakh million 10 million 100 million so end of an algorithm for 100 million is what 100 million log 100 million so how much approximately it takes it up on my specific hardware so clearly there's a visible lapse here so so what do you can say now so for it's doing better than solution one in a way here but but still for 100 million here the time is still very very visible what we want to do now is let's find up is there any better algorithm than analog in any way here which can able to really solve this problem much much more efficiently here we try to first discover the strategy so if you can find the such strategy we'll also try to experience that solution so just before that let me write it up 54 now let's Let's discuss the idea number uh, three possible, then we'll try to experience if you can able to be successful result.